Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. Karen and I had a call on our radio show just the other day and the caller said, how come these seed companies still talk about corn in 100 day or 95 day or whatever, instead of talking about how many growing degree days it actually takes for that corn to mature? And I said, you know what? I agree with you 100%. I don't understand why we still talk about 100 day corn or 90 day corn or whatever it is, but I imagine it's just because that's always how it's been done and it's some simple easy thing and nobody really wants to change that bad. Well, it's also because not everybody understands growing degree days and what that exactly means. Now, when you say, well, this corn hybrid needs 2,700 growing degree days to reach maturity, I don't understand. 2,700 growing degree days. So it's important that you understand what that calculation is. So let's talk about that just a little bit. When we're thinking about corn and we're looking at growing degree days, basically we're measuring how much heat there is that has happened from the time you planted that corn until that corn is ready to mature. So when we're looking at this, we don't count days over 86 degrees on the high side and we don't count temperatures under 50 degrees. So we'll start out at 50 degrees as a base. So we'll look at the high temperature for the day. And if it's above 86, we'll just call it 86. Or let's just say that it was 80 degrees for our example today. Then we'll look at the low temperature for the day. If it's below 50, we just count it as 50. So let's say the low temperature today was 60 degrees. So we have a high of 80 and a low of 60. We'll add those two numbers together. That's 140 and we'll divide by two. That equals 70. And then we will subtract off whatever the base is. In this case, the base would be 50. So on a day where the high was 80 degrees, the low was 60, we would have 20 growing degree days that we collected that day. Okay, so that's the calculation there. And one thing you said, Darren, is the base. And in some cases, the base may be a different number. We're figuring corn growing degree days here. For certain other plants, they may figure the minimum temperature at 48. So 48 all of a sudden becomes the base, or maybe it's 54 degrees, whatever it is. But the most common base out there is 50 degrees. That's kind of the standard in the industry that everybody talks about. All right, let's get a little bit deeper into this now. Where does this really come into play? We already talked about maturity. It takes a certain number of growing degree days for each particular hybrid to reach maturity. So we know that one particular hybrid may need 2,000 growing degree days. The next one might need 2,400 growing degree days. And you can track this every day as you go along the season so you know when your crop should be reaching maturity. So as a farmer, you know that, hey, I've hit maturity and pretty soon I should be able to harvest once that corn dries down a little bit. You can also look at it at the other side of things in emergence. They say on average, it takes a corn plant about 100 growing degree days to emerge. So I get questions every spring when it's been cold for three weeks and guys will say, why isn't my corn coming up yet? It must be dead or something's wrong. And I say, well, how many growing degree days have you had? Uh, well, I'm not exactly sure. And I say, well, I know exactly how many we've had and we haven't had nearly enough to get that corn out of the ground. So these are some of the things that farmers can use growing degree days for. Well, when we're talking about corn, it matures based on heat. So we need heat to move these growing stages along. Other crops may mature a little bit different. Like for example, with soybeans, they start their reproductive stages when the day length starts to shorten in the Northern part of the country. So it's just a little bit different. Every crop's a little different. We're talking about corn today, but if you've heard the the term growing degree days. We just wanted you to have an idea of how it was calculated, what it means, and what it's used for. Well, we also want you to have an idea on weed control with our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 